Hello, today inshallah we are going to talk about the first unit in the secondary stage, second secondary, where today's food comes from. Before introducing our new vocab, we are going to talk about some main points. The first question, should scientists modify our food? Thousands of years ago, most people were hunters. They got their food not only from the animals and fish they had killed, but also from nuts, roots and fruit they had collected. Later these hunters settled and became farmers. Their method of getting food was to grow crops from the seeds of wild plants. They noticed that some plants were better than others, so they saved their seeds from these plants. As a result, they, the yields and quality of their crops improved. Like plants, all other living things contain genes. Genes are parts of cells of living things passed from parents to children. They control what living things will be like. The new vocab. Modern technology. Crops. Soil. Genetic structure. Improve. Disease resistant. Organic farming. Farm, method, chemicals, substance, insects, damage, quantity or amount, quality, stream, flood, natural, normal, modern farming, add, attack, organic food, food prices, global warming, invention, taste, produce, production, exercise, sell, living thing, develop, development, decay, hunter, nuts, collect. Prepositions, idioms and expressions. Resistant to, harmful to, go up, praying song, save from, protect from, provide with, do damage to, pass from, to, good for, put on soil, depend on, spray with, in favor of, poisonous for, put genes into, opinion on or about, bad for, get worse, over time, do exercise, Praying a disease. We have some confusing words like soil, ground, and floor. Soil, for example, these plants only grow in a muddy soil. Ground, don't sit on the ground, you will get wet. Floor, he lives in a flat on the second floor. Feed and eat. Feed, fed, fed. Don't forget to feed that dog. Eat, ate, eaten. We usually eat at about 7 o'clock. Tribe, tripen. You can eat this fruit. It's alright. Ripe is an adjective. Tomatoes need some time to ripen. Ripen is a verb. Rot and rotten. Rot, rotted, rotted. Too many sweets will rot your teeth. Rotten is an adjective. Don't buy rotten fruit. Taste, tasty, tasteful. He has got flu. So he lost his sense of taste. That cake 
has an ice taste. Tasty is an adjective. They serve the very tasty dishes here. Tasteful. They put tasteful furniture. It's also an adjective. Now we are going to discuss some of the exercises about we have took the part. Farmers use fertilizers, ingredients, genes, seeds on soil to help plants to grow. Number two, farmers use chemical herbicides, pesticides. Number three, look at the plains. They are praying, playing, spraying or staying the fields from the air. Number four, some people believe that dynamic, organic, mechanic, genetically, fruit and vegetables are better for you than ones grown with chemical fertilizers. Number five, some people are worried that genetic, genetically devised genetics, modified crops will bring diseases. Number six, I get my brown hair and eyes from my parents. They are in my genes, germs, gems, lungs. Number seven, fruit is ready to eat when it has been rotten, tripen, and maged, fed. By the sun, the main element part, component, ingredient, of the meal I am cooking is cheese. Scientists can multiply, modify, intensify, liquefy crops by adding or removing certain genes. Number 10. When fruit or other food rots, ripen, rotten, tripe, it's too bad to eat. Find the mistakes in each of the following sentences, then write it correctly. Number 1. My brother wants to study genetic at university. Ripe fruit usually tastes sweet. Number three, this tomato is rot. I can't eat it. Number four, scientists have made genetic modify to some vegetables. Number five, many people were very hungry after the storm. Some even began to starvation. Number six, in my opinion, global warming is our biggest problem. Number seven, Farmers earn their money from literature. Number eight, rice is the main crop of tonight's dish. Nine, genetic modified food may bring new diseases in the future. Ten, this land is infertile. It can produce a large number of good crops. <coughs> the grammar area. We are going to talk about whose and whose. Whose is equal who is. Noun plus noun or verb plus ing or an adjective. For example, Leila is a student who is working on this project with me. My friend, who is a pilot, has always loved flying. Who is also means who has plus past participle. The man who has done a lot of good work will be given a reward. Whose? That's the boy whose sister is a teacher. My brother whose friend is a Lippian engineer is gonna to work in Tripoli. Choose a correct answer. Number one. Lele is a student who is who's, who, which working on this project with me. Two, my friend who is, who's, who, which a pilot has always loved flying. Number three, my brother who, who is, who's, whose friend is a Libyan engineer is gonna to work in Tripoli. Four, we saw some people whose, whose, that's What's car had 
had broken down. Number five, this is a man that who's who's that been looking for you. Number six, the man who who's who's that in a black suit is asking for you. Number seven, that's my friend who who is who's whose father is a doctor. Find the mistakes in each of the following sentences, then write it correctly. Number one, once people were hunters whose food came from animals and fish. Number two, the boy who's playing over there is my son. Number three, there is many families whose uh, cupboards have got GM foods inside. Number four, the boy who's coming late was punished. And the last one, Tom's father, who's 78, goes swimming every day. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Ahmed Ismail.